so here is the login screen and uh, I mentioned my client number I entered my ID and keep in mind that this password although the star sign is already there but uh, the password field is empty so you have to type uh, type your password and then you press enter uh, if you are logging in for the first time you will be taken to the password change window where you have to change your password set the new password remember the new password and otherwise you will be taken to SAP GUI screen so in this video we are going to discuss uh, this uh, GUI screen which I used to say uh, SAP airport so we have just landed to SAP GUI airport SAP ERP airport this is SAP GUI screen and uh, this window this part of the window which is a tree sort of a structure you can see that we can expand this tree uh, for example you see the accounting folder we can just click this arrow sign and expand the account folder and then there are various subfolders which can then be extended so this part of the screen is uh, actually known as this part of the screen is known as easy access menu SAP easy access menu you can see SAP easy access is mentioned here then we have the top bar with this bar which is known as the menu bar so menu bar is just like any other software you would have seen so it can be extended and you can see various options in the menu bar the very important bar one of the two very important bars is this one so this the second bar is known as the standard toolbar and this is important because uh, the contents of this bar remain same whatever you are doing in the SAP system so for example if you are in some accounting screen you are making some accounting entry or even you are, you are uh, just reporting uh, 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 having a report of income statement or balance sheet you will see the entire screen will change but this bar will not change so this is one of the two bars which remains same so I used to say this is a global bar uh, because it remains same whichever part of SAP you are working on so the buttons on this bar actually are very important to understand the first button is for the enter so either you press enter or you click this button it works the same way the second uh, f uh, box is known as the command box here you can type something uh, and we will see the use of this button we can hide this button if we don't want to see it through this arrow sign then the next button is for the save so this is disabled for the time being because there is nothing to save right now the next button is again disabled because this is the back button so from the airport we cannot go back so this is the first place we are in SAP so this is uh, the uh, actually go one level up so if uh, this is the very first screen if we go one level up we are going to log off so uh, it will be log off for the main screen but if we are in some other screen for example if I am somewhere say here right uh, we will discuss what is this all about but if I am here and I without uh, uh, knowing without explaining what I am doing if I am here and I, I press this button right I will be exit from this screen and I will be taken to the uh, one level up which means K I am back on the SAP easy access menu SAP airport GUI screen so this you can go back from this button you can go one level up sometimes they work the same sometimes they work differently uh, and this is for cancelling any transaction so if you are doing anything in SAP and you don't want to save it you just want to cancel and go out of that mode then you just press this button right now it is disabled because there is nothing to cancel this is for the print we are not going to use it this is for control F find so for example control F I want to find something like purchase order uh, uh, in this screen in this in these folders I want to find something like purchase order find it will take some time and it will uh, show you uh, the uh, word purchase order wherever it will appearing it is appearing in the easy access menu so it took uh, very long I paused the video in between so you see it uh, takes me to somewhere where the purchase order word appears and if I press this button it will find the very next uh, place where the purchase order appears so this is the way we can use these buttons but don't use it for the purchase order term because it's it's taking too longer but there are too many purchase order uh, uh, words or phrases found in this screen so I make this screen again the standard one so I uh, collapsed all the folders which were open this is for the first page so if uh, for example I have uh, uh, expanded too many folders then the screen can be scrolled up or scrolled down and if I want to the first page I will click this button if I want to go to the last page I will use this button 
if I want to go one page up so this is about the page up and this is for the page down so if we want to just uh, uh, match these four buttons according to the keyboard keys so this is for the home this is for page up this is for page down and this is for end so seldom we uh, need to use these buttons and these two buttons are important this is for the new GUI window so let's say I am working something in this window and I also want to have another SAP window just like we can have two word files open simultaneously so I can open another session another GUI window so that I can have one window doing my accounting entry and another window showing my income statement so now you can see I have two windows one and two both windows I can work on simultaneously so at a maximum we can actually open six or seven sessions not more than that different uh, depending on the version we are working on so you can try how many windows we can open at a given point of time and then this window it uh, generates a shortcut uh, what I mean by shortcut is that uh, if I ask you what steps did we take to log into SAP so you would say first of all we selected the logon icon on the desktop or in the start menu then we double click that step number two then step number three we mention our client then step number four we mention user ID in step number five we mention the password then we press enter so these six steps uh, and, and before that even we have to you we have to choose our server we have to configure our server so if what we do is if we click this button we can create a shortcut on the desktop so that we don't need to enter uh, every piece of information every time so when we click this button you see this is the title of the shortcut on the desktop so uh, these are some other things which are Jano German for us for the time being so I am not discussing them, them for the time being this is the system which we are accessing this is our client this is our user ID so the system will only ask us the password I press the finish button and you will see that uh, potentially potentially I will have a shortcut on my desktop so I close it and you see this icon actually SAP logon icon this is the shortcut now so if I press this icon I will be directly take, uh, taken to the SAP uh, let me show you <coughs> I log off from here uh, but it's not log off because two sessions were open so when two sessions are open and you are pressing this button it will only close one session and if it, it is only one session one window and you close this button it will eventually log off you it will ask for uh, uh, it will give you a warning and then it will uh, log off you so we are logged off now and I close this window as well and now this is the shortcut I have and I want to uh, access SAP through this shortcut and as soon as I do it uh, oh, I'm sorry this is not the shortcut this is the shortcut I have uh, and it asks it gives me the user ID and I just have to mention the password and you see that uh, I uh, am not even required to mention the uh, client I am not asked to double click the G34 server everything is done automatically because I have created the shortcut so this was the first of the two videos of navigation in the next video we will discuss some other navigation things uh, so please uh, now switch and uh, see the second video thank you